Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am T Addict and today we have the next part of the Sims 4 growing together footage for you guys to watch. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because I actually decided to live stream this section of gameplay on my Twitch channel, links are below. So this is an edited uh, stream VOD basically. So you will see like a stream chat on the, stream, on the screen and I will be talking to my chat fairly often. I'll be responding to the chat fairly often so just in case you've never watched a stream vod before it's a little bit different uh, but I wanted to sort of cut this together and upload it for you because it has a lot of really fun unfiltered <laughs> raw t addict gameplay and uh, yeah there's a lot of really fun little moments in here that you can watch and hopefully enjoy so let's jump in we're gonna pick back up right where we left off with uh, baby Aiden and then very soon he will be aging up into an infant and we will start to explore some infants gameplay so yeah hope you enjoy as the baby Absolutely fine. Just smiling away in his crib. Not at all concerned about the fact that mum and dad are in completely different rooms in the house. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm a baby. I don't care about anything. <laughs> okay, future life simulation developers, pay attention. Babies like to be near their caregivers. Okay, there needs to be some type of gameplay mechanic where they're like, I'm not near my person. And so you should be able to take the baby round with you to different rooms, hold them. Yeah, there needs to be some kind of system where you can take them around the house, put them in different places, baby wrap, exactly. Get a baby wrap Sims team. Uh, that is what babies want. They wanna be close to you at all points in time. Babies, newborns and infants. Attachment theory mechanic for the Sims. Well, you know, there's like all this stuff about how um, babies develop attachment bonds, right? And it's like really important for your baby to have a close attachment bond with you as their caregiver. So that should be like a thing in a, in the life simulation game. They should like have um yeah have like attachment bonds and and the strength of them can like make a difference to the child's life or something. Why is it that it says socialize with your child 10 times, but socializing with the baby doesn't count? Like, do they have to be an actual child? Cause that seems like an oversight. Look buddy, there's the home theater room. Your jolly jumper sits over here. They don't have jolly jumpers in the Sims. And like, honestly, kind of sad. Playmat should have been for the newborns. Yes. Jolly jumper for the infants. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so. Paul's home, brought home 624 simoleons. Great job, love. All right, you come in here and we're going to age up, baby. Do you care when your son ages up or are you just gonna probably ignore it and not pay attention to it whatsoever? Okay, here he goes, he's aging up everyone. The mat has appeared. Shake, shake. Yeah, Paul's leaving the room, okay. All right, um, great. So let's pick a trait. So Aiden is, Aiden is wiggly and Aiden is also cautious. I think we're gonna go with cautious. That is, that is Aiden. Here he is. Okay, first of all, this baby is huge. Um, and this child looks like Paul, which not accurate. He's also got too much hair. Smile milestone unlocked immediately. Look at that happy face. Aiden smiled for the first time. Socializing with Aiden will help him learn new ways to communicate. Okay. Also, Aiden, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be on this little mat over here, but you're over here. So yeah, no, this is a little Paul clone. So like not accurate. Aiden is a clone of me. Thank you very much, but that's okay. Whatever. Uh, all right. Let's see what Beth does. Hello. You cool? Why are you angry, Babu? Wait, what? They don't have a fun need? The fun motive is locked when infants can't move on their own. Completing the sit-up milestone allows infants to scoot. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, if only that was real. <laughs> okay, let me just tell you guys that when an infant can't move, they still have a fun need. <laughs> That's so dumb! <laughs> Before an infant can move, you still need to entertain that child. <laughs> Kids learn through play. What? <laughs> That's so bad. 
All right, Aiden's hungry right now, so let's give him some food. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> let's feed him, and then I'm gonna make him bald. He's very angry right now, I think, because he's hungry. How dare you hold me from being carried? Maybe it's the sim or just the situation that's bothering him. Aiden is now infuriated from being held and wants to be put down. Well, there you go. We put you down. And now he's crying. Can we feed this baby, please? Why has he got shoes on? My child doesn't wish... Okay, we need to take him into create a sim. There is a lack of fun activities when infants can't scoot. Yeah, so make it so your parent can play peekaboo. And, like, read a book. And sing silly songs. And clap their little hands together. And whack their little... Tap their little feet together. And blow raspberries. And, like, watch Hay Bear. <laughs> Put them in a swing. <laughs> That's so lazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Sims team. Come on. Anyway, okay. Um, should I give him that or should I give him like, I'll give him a little bit of hair. Yeah, his hair is slowly growing in, so that's good. He doesn't wear shoes. Babies shouldn't wear shoes, guys, because it uh, affects their exploration of the world, I guess. Like, yeah, you want to like leave their shoes off so they can explore and feel the textures of things. And so this is his formal wear, apparently. No, 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 Aiden. Aiden, stay. Okay, this is real. Trying to get the baby dressed and they're like, roly poly. And sleep sacks. They should have had sleep sacks. I don't know why we didn't get sleep sacks in this pack. That would have made a lot of sense. Okay. There's our boy. Oh, I've got my baby. Look, it's me and my baby. He's huge. Why is he so big? Like, my, my son is big. Thank you so much for the follow. My son is big, but, like, this infant is giant. I don't know. He just looks very, very big to me. Are you gonna, are you gonna change the outfit? Okay, there we go. One, you don't, no. What are you doing? Oh, that's cute. They lay them down to change them. That's cute. I was expecting her to just like throw him up in the air and stuff. All right, let's put Aiden on his mat. Let's do, put Aiden here. And then let's do some tummy time or something. Tummy time together. Let's go. No boo, tab or tummy time. What? His head was like all the way up right there. You can do it, little bunny. Oh, he's so sad. He's got real tears. You can do it, little bunny. I mean, that's pretty good. Like, he is holding his head up right there. Like, okay, let's get something to eat. Oh, he's sad. He's sad. Oh, no. Now he's fine. Okay, what can we do? We can play with Aiden? Alright, Paul, you gotta come play with Aiden. He's sad. And Mama's gotta eat. Quirk revealed hates wake up time. Aiden rarely wakes up in a good mood. Infants with hates wake up time are more likely to behave like grumpy bunnies when they wake up from a nap. Okay, not really accurate, but that's alright. Aiden's actually usually pretty happy when he wakes up, depending on how his nap was. But look, look, no, seriously. Paul is, like, this is perfect. Paul is playing with him. He's, like, on his little mat and stuff. Like, let's take a vacation day. Like, why should, why, why have the fun need disabled? Paul is currently entertaining him, playing with him with the little toys. Like, you don't, you don't need to do that. That makes no sense to me. And we can play peekaboo. We can blow raspberries. Like, what? Okay, he's starting to get sleepy. Um, so we do need to put him down to bed. It's 8.30 p.m. Okay, so let's, uh, pick up. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to see if Aiden wants to go down to bed. Um... Oh, I need the... I forgot. I need the, um... Wait a minute. Can you can your sim sing the babies a lullaby? Like, if I get Beth Simmy to... Or, like... Because Beth Simmy has the singing skill. Can she sing him a lullaby? Or can you only play them a lullaby with the, um... Mobile? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we need to put him to sleep. Also, where's... Yeah, where's the white noise machine? We need a white noise machine. Quirk revealed hates being held. That's... Aw... Okay, well, so we can tell bedtime story, soothe to sleep, kiss goodnight. I can't sing to my baby? Why, why can't I sing to my baby? No. Only with the mobiles? Okay, well, let's get a mobile. Oh, you have to upgrade the cot. Oh! Oh, that's silly. Okay, well, let's put this one above the change table then. Oh, so Paul, we should have upgraded the cot, Paul. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's tell a bedtime story. Let's read him where is the green sheep. Here is the red sheep. 
He's asleep. He went to sleep. Okay, leave the baby. Quick. Sneak out of that room like a ninja, Paul. You did it. Well done. No, Beth, leave the baby alone. Don't hold the baby. He's sleeping. Okay, I don't think she actually is going to hold the baby. I think it's just the interaction is there in her queue for some reason. Paul, you broke your computer, babe. Blue screen of death, honey. And it's sizzling. That's not ideal. Let's see how well Aiden sleeps tonight. See how often he wakes up. He needs a sleep sack. Look at him. He's going to be cold. He's got his little legs out. And I, I want to I wanna wrap him up in his sleep sack. Wait, are you going to sleep through the night? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Okay, we need... Mama, come here. Baby's awake. How is he? Has he got like a dirty nappy? Uh, and he's a little hungry. Okay, let's change him and feed him. Oh, I can't be that bad. He hasn't started solid yet. Solids yet, Beth. Calm down. Also, I just, I feel like I need a lamp in this room. Okay, now we got to, uh, baby care, feed the baby, please. Don't worry about your clothes right now, Beth. You've got a wiggly crying baby. What the heck is wrong with you? Feed the baby. Okay, there we go. Okay, can we put the baby back to bed, please? Oh, we're having snuggles. That's very nice. But can we please put the baby back to bed? Please. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> Just do what I say. Let's... Can I... Why can't I sing my baby to sleep? Okay, that makes me really sad. Kiss goodnight. Good night, buddy. Bye-bye. Sleep training begins now. Ruby, get out of the baby's room. Oh, look, he went to sleep all by himself. Oh, my God, my child is... He's, like, two days old into being an infant, and he's already sleep trained. My child is a genius, guys. Morning routine time, honey. Let's get the coffee. Let's do our workout, because that's what you did after Aiden was born. Left me to it and just went about your life as usual. Hopefully the doggos are okay. I feel like we're really ignoring them right now. Oh, Ruby looks sad. Oh, no. Okay, we got we to gotta give Ruby a pat in a minute. Come on, Beth. Ruby, get out of the way. Paul's trying to... Paul, what have you... Where are you going? Okay, just... <laughs> just walk through the wall. That's fine. Why not? That's enough showering. We got to... Oh, Ruby's under the... Oh, this is... <laughs> Sorry. This is very accurate. Like, this is literally what Ruby does. <laughs> He's a good girl. He's a... Wow, that's a great lick face animation, Sims team. That <laughs> She was definitely licking Beth's face there and not just the random air. And then Ruby should be pretty happy. Let's see if we also have time for breakfast. Might get lucky here. Uh-oh, Aiden's awake. And my dryer broke. Uh-oh. Oh, what's that? Aiden just started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that he can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys, Aiden can learn how to adeptly use his fingers. Good job, buddy. You learned so much just lying in the crib. It's funny, isn't it? Because dummies are definitely a, a, a personal choice per parent. And every parent is going to, you know, feel differently about dummies. But, it, you know, similar to the way they had in here that you could set the breast, the feeding preference to breastfeeding or bottle feeding. Like, I think it would have been cool if you could have said, you know, we use a pacifier or we don't use a pacifier. It's probably what I would have done. Why don't you sit down? Like, come and sit on this nice couch while you feed him. <laughs> Probably be a lot more comfortable than standing up. I don't think I've ever fed Aiden just standing up. Ever. <laughs> Maybe like once. But, okay. Oh, good job, Aiden. You're doing so good. Woohoo! Woo yeah, good job. You're so strong, buddy. It's okay. You're so strong. You can do it. You can do it. Are you trying to make him roll over? Is that the idea? Pat is back! Pat is bum! Comfort him! What are you doing? You're a terrible mother! Oh, there we go. He's happy again now. It's fine. Lift head milestone unlocked. I'm pretty sure he's been lifting his head the whole time he's been on his tummy, but okay. <laughs> there we go. We rolled him back over. Okay. Friendly. Let's uh, play with Aiden. Coo milestone unlocked. Ooh, ah. Uh, Aiden might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have him socialize with other sims or a stuffed animal to practice more. Sentiment gained. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me too. <laughs> what? Okay. 
I feel, did the, did they add any new sentiments for like um yeah I know that's what the baby said did they add any new sentiments for this pack or not because I feel like maybe they should have like some family specific sentiments they added two okay oh yeah I forgot to say as well our family dynamic is set to close that came up in uh, in gameplay while Beth was still pregnant I think our family dynamic is is close we're a close family Best sentiments about Aiden. So whole heart. This looks like a new one. Adoring sentiment. What a bliss this new baby brings to Beth's life. And Aiden's sentiments about Beth is adoring. And then we're closer from happy memories. Okay. Well, that's good. Can we play peekaboo while he's there? Let's play peekaboo. <gasps> Where's Aiden? There he is! Oh, he doesn't like peekaboo! No, no, Aiden doesn't like peekaboo. Okay. He adores his mama, but he doesn't like peekaboo. Whoa! Okay, that was fine. Let's see if he um if he enjoys being in the back carrier. Let's try out this back carrier thing. Ah, oh, look at the baby! Oh, this is cute. See, this is cute. I like this. Obviously, he doesn't quite fit in there properly, but it's good enough for a video game. So they just need to do this kind of thing with, like, a front carrier as well for newborns. This is cute! Let's take the doggies. Can we take the doggies for a walk with Aiden in the back carrier? Will he fall asleep in the back carrier? Can the baby come with us in, while he's in the carrier? Is that going to work? No. Oh, no! We can't... We can't... Okay, no, we can't go for a walk while Aiden's in the carrier. I'm sorry, doggos. No walkies for you. Gabe says no. <laughs> Have you tried playing as Aiden? Oh, no, hello. Look at toys. Try to go nai-nai. Play with toys. He's reaching for his toys. Look at him. Oh, he sneezed. God bless you, darling. Ajuba. Watch Beth smile at Beth. Help get fed. Coo at. Oh, this is cute. Well, let's smile at Mama. We like Mama. <laughs> Parents should get a negative moodlet sometimes for pulled hair. Yes. Yes, they should. Okay, we are going to try to... He's not very tired. I don't think... No, I don't think he needs to go nine nice yet. Okay, so she does, like, tend to default to putting him in this little jungle gym thing which I like I like that she does that like instead of just jump dumping him on the ground if you've got this thing then he she like tries to put him in there he's been awake since this morning though like I feel like maybe they should have made their energy decline a little bit faster like most infants at eight months old are still taking two naps a day he might need like one uh but let's go ahead and try to put him to bed um and see if he wants to take a little nap. Because so then we can eat. Look at his moodlets. Rest time. Oh, okay, for being awake too long. Infants require regular naps. Aiden has been awake for too long and is starting to get cranky. Better put him to bed. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Um, have a quick meal. Let's have uh, some crackers. How am I liking the update overall? Uh, quite a lot so far. It's quite... It's good. I like it. I love the babies. I don't think... I still don't think we need newborns and infants and toddlers, okay? I feel like they should have just done one big baby update, released the newborns from their cribs and had a more gradual progression of like the way that they, the way that they develop, I guess. Like, I don't think we need separate, 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 separate. I think that's too much, but I do love the infants. They are very, very cute. Baby's awake. Good morning. Oh no, oh no. Awake and sad from waking up. He's woken up in a sad mood, except he's also really happy. How dare you hold me? Put me down, mama! Oh, he's stinky. We need to change his nappy. Oops, wrong sim. Okay, does anyone else have this happen when they're playing The Sims 4? Because this really annoys me. Half the time when I try to click on another sim, it doesn't, like, click on the sim. Does anyone else have that issue with The Sims 4? Coo at Ruby. Sleep next to Ruby. That's very cute. I love that they actually added interactions for babies and pets. That is adorable. What are you doing? Why are you just pick putting him down and picking him up? <laughs> 
<laughs> that's cute. Can you um? Can you like throw the babies in the air as well? Because that's something that we do all the time with uh, with baby. Read. To oh, you can read a book. You can read a toddler book. Oh, fun! All right. Well, let's do some tummy time. Ah, oh, thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube, my sister, kids, and me. Oh, we just okay. We just decided to give him to Paul. Well, that's accurate. Here you go, honey. I need a break. Paul's like, okay, I got him. I'm just gonna go put him down in here, honey, because I was just in the middle of doing some stuff. Your dad runs away. I mean, that's pretty much what I do when Paul gets home from work. So. Should get a rocking chair. Yeah, so I think, uh, actually, I should probably look for a custom one. So we actually have a rocking chair in our living room, but our rocking chair is like, it's quite modern. Like, these ones are all really kind of, like, old-fashioned, if you know what I mean. There's a new one in the pack. Are you sure? Why can't I see it? Oh! Yeah, this'll do. Okay. Yeah, let's get this. So, ours kind of looks like that a little bit. Why didn't that come up when I text searched for rocker? Oh, it's a rocker, not a rocking chair. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Wait! Is this a white noise machine? Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Beth, come here. Turn on kids radio, metal, strange tunes, listen to... Ah, oh, it said... Ah, oh, lame! It said in build mode. It was like, it said something about white noise, but... I guess, I guess it's a lie. Look, if you read the description, it's like, this rounded speaker has some incredible sound quality for being so small. Your house party will have the perfect soundtrack. You'll be able to add some white noise to a quiet house and whatever else you could want with a speaker. The best part, no one will miss out on whatever's playing. Yeah, there's lullaby, but there's not white noise. That's, oh, why not? It, they should, they should have brought that in as like a, uh, yeah, as something you could listen to. Because that's really quite cute. She's watching him, that's cute. Oh, he learned to roll over to his back! Good job, buddy! You're so clever! Oh, he's getting very tired. Okay. Um, he needs help from low motives and he is tired. Okay. Let's uh, rock him in the rocker. So... So... Uh, um, but how do, I, how do I rock him to sleep? No, don't put him down. I want to rock with him in the rocking chair. No, don't go and dance. What the frick is wrong with you? Um, more choices. Give Aiden a nap. All right, well, let's, uh, did Paul end up adding a mobile? No, he didn't. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and put Aiden to bed. Paul's going to have to add the mobile tomorrow. So will the lullabies radio help him go to sleep? I know, buddy. Let's soothe him to sleep. No, 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 Paul, it's okay, honey. I got I got this, babe. <laughs> Paul, Paul, I, 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 okay, sure, you want to take over. No worries. Do we need to turn the music off? Is it actually keeping him awake? What night night? I know, buddy. Give dummy. The actual mobile will... Okay, let's turn this off. Just in case it's not helping. Okay, he's gone to sleep. No worries. Oh, goodness me. That was an ordeal. Oh, is this Aiden's birth certificate? Oh, it is. Oh, we should put... What are you doing? Get out of Aiden's room. He's sleeping. Put Aiden's birth certificate up on the wall. No, this is not where the dishes go, y'all. Beth, stop dancing. Do something useful with your life. <laughs> Paul, go to bed. This is not the time for dancing in the home theatre. Let's see how Aiden does. He's up at 3am again. He's hungry. Okay, that's fair. Right, Mama. Time to get up, Mama. Don't check on him. Feed him. I told you to feed him. Doggies, nut, Ruby, stop barking. Don't come in here and bark while I'm trying to feed the baby in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe... Okay, I want to just do a little uh, test run here. If I put a chair in the nursery, will she then sit while she feeds him? She needs to sit and then breastfeed? Oh, okay. Ruby! Ruby, stop barking! <laughs> Alright, let's put Aiden back to bed. I know you're hungry. Right now it's sleepy time. Ruby, get out! <laughs> Wait, are you feeling sick as well, Beth? No, no, don't pat the dog! 
No, come back and do what I told you to do, you freaking lunatic. Kiss the baby and soothe the baby to sleep. No, stop trying to interact with the dogs. Is he going to sleep? Okay, he's going to sleep. Oh my god. Just go back to bed. Everyone just go back to bed. Can you sit in one place and eat your breakfast, please, Beth Sim? Oh my god. Um, go and have some yogurt for breakfast. Go on. Oh, Ruby's sad and Aiden's awake and he's angry. Oh my god, why haven't you had your breakfast yet? Ah. Okay, uh, let's cuddle. Come, bounce. Why you still got tears coming out your eyes? You look happy. Laugh, Milestar. Oh, he laughed. Okay, I think his animation with his crying is glitched because he's quite happy and he just laughed for the first time. He's also unlocked the grab milestone. Play with toys to strengthen fine motor development. Wow. Oh, he's fascinated by me. Aiden can't seem to stop smiling and giggling around Beth. What an amazing bond. Oh, that's cute. We have unlocked learn to grab, learn to reach. Next one is put toe in mouth. Okay. Then we have got lifted head and rolled over to back. The next gross motor is roll over to tummy. We haven't had any firsts. Okay. We were born. Uh, social, we first smile, learn to coo, learn to laugh. Next one is learn to babble. Okay. Yeah, the milestones are very cool. And I love that the milestones aren't just limited to the, um, the infants. There's milestones for, like, all different ages. Like, if we look in Beth's profile, she's had, you know, like, got a job, first woohoo, uh, had a baby, got promoted, fell in love, got married. Like, sh there's milestones for all the different life stages and I really like that. I'm really happy they added it for everyone. Um, and I'm interested to see what they've added for like kids and teenagers and like stuff like that. The milestones just happen like you don't have to work hard for them. Yeah, I mean you have to obviously do the tummy time and stuff. Oh, why are you raging? Beth, calm down. The baby's gonna pick up on your anger. Is this tummy time interaction like kind of glitched right now? Oh, we're covered in spots of some description. What did you just learn? Did you just get another milestone of some kind? Roll over to tummy unlocked. Hey, good job, buddy. All right, we need to comfort the baby. We need to feed the baby. You need to have medicine. Come on. Can you please pick up this child, Beth? Please pick up the child. Beth, pick up, pick up the child. We need to pick him up! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Pick up the baby! What is wrong with you? Pick him up! Aiden! Oh my god! <laughs> that was really stressful. Okay, can we please... Alright, let's just... Uh, feed the baby, please. No, I wanted you to sit and feed him! Ah! <laughs> okay, and then he needs to go down for a nap, and then we can shower. <sighs> okay, and the dogs are like sad and need attention. Oh my gosh, okay, this is fine. We're good, we're good, we're fine. Stop stomping! The baby's gonna pick up on your vibes, Beth. He's gonna be sad, cause you're sad. He's also still got tears like flowing out of his face apparently. Night, night, Nubu, that's right. Night, night, okay, oh my God. Go take a shower. Actually, yes, take a cold shower. Calm yourself down, you lunatic. Oh my God, is he sleeping on his tummy? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, now that he can roll over, he sleeps on his tummy. I love that. Very accurate. Also, once Aiden figured out rolling both ways, he's like, yep, I'm gonna sleep on my tummy now. Oh my, no, 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 turn the, no, turn the dryer on. It's okay, he can stay there for a minute. Okay, now we're gonna go and change Aiden's nappy. Okay, change the baby. Then we gotta practice sitting up a bit, I think. I really wish he would stop uh, having the tears animation. That's really quite upsetting. Bouncy, bouncy baby. How dare you hold me? And he's angry because he woke up. Let's practice sitting up. How do we do that? More choices. Nope. 
uh, actions? No. Uh, friendly activities? Practice sitting. Let's do that. Should I reset him? Okay, reset object. Okay, there we go. Uh, friendly activities. Practice sitting. Uh, I think Beth is also stuck. Okay, okay. Can we practice sitting, please? I just, I just want to do this, this one thing. Game, if I could. Okay, no Beth. Theme. Sure. No, you can't do that. Uh, all right, let's cuddle him. Uh, let's go out here. Practice sitting. Okay, practice sitting. Come on. Fifth time is the charm. No, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this game. What are you? What are you doing? Come on. All right, here we go. Sixth time is the charm. No worries, Emma. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Look at him sit. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> no, note for the Sims team. Uh, when a baby is learning to sit, they can't just sit up <laughs> immediately. You've got to, like, lean them against your legs. Like, you sit with your legs out in a V, right? You as, you as the parent. You sit with your legs out and you, like, cradle them inside your legs. Or you, like, sit with your legs crossed and you put them... In. You've got to support their back. Or you put a little, you know, pillow around them or like, uh, yeah, this, this doesn't happen. <laughs> they can't sit up unsupported like that until they, uh, can sit up unsupported. You know what I mean? That baby did do a full sit up. That's a strong baby right there. You can just play in there for a bit, buddy. Daddy's got to go to the toilet. <laughs> so classic. Beth. Gives baby to dad. Dad puts baby down and walks away. Wait, no, you're not doing it, are you? I've seen this. I saw that Deli had Carl or whatever his name is do this. They go to the toilet while holding the baby. <laughs> oh, no. And he didn't... Wait, his bladder didn't get fulfilled. No, 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 no. Oh, God. And Beth's given up with cooking? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Oh, he wants mama. Oh. Okay. Um, I thought you were cooking. What are you doing? No, no, no. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. Deep breath. Okay, let's put the baby to bed. Paul, you might have to take over dinner. No, you're not skilled enough to cook pork noodles. Right. Soothed sleep. There we go. Time for nine nines. Good nine nine, Babu Boo. Nine nines. I wanted Paul to install the mobile on the crib, but he's gonna have to take the day off work, I think. I know you're hungry, Ruby. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's Skittles? Oh, he's begging for food while we cook. Yeah, that seems legit. Paul. Grab a serving. No, no, no. Come back here. No, no, no. I want, can't you guys sit at your table just for once in your lives? I think I'm going to have to remove these bar stools because they're just... Like, we never sit at the bar to eat, like, ever. We have bar stools, but we don't use it. Are you sick again? Okay, we got the baby to bed early, so that's something. Uh, he's going to wake up hungry soon, but that's okay. Little dream feed and we'll be right. We'll put him back to bed and see if he sleeps through the night. Okay, now after this, you've got to go and dream feed the baby. Hey, buddy. Okay, change his outfit. No, not change his outfit, my bad. Uh, ooh, change nappy. We got to change the baby. Oh, big stretch. I know, buddy. I'm sorry I woke you. Usually when you do a dream feed, you, like, try not to wake the baby up. You sort of just sneak in and you grab them and you just sneak into the chair and they're like mm, what's going on and then you feed them before they know what's going on and then you just put them back and it's like it's very relaxing okay let's see if this time i can get her to sit in the chair and feed him i know you don't like cooking come on it's okay aiden hey we did it yeah <laughs> We finally did it. Good job, everybody. We are feeding our baby sitting down for the first time. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it was loading again there for a minute, wasn't it? 
Applause, <laughs> yay! Feeding the baby sitting down should be a milestone, yes. No, don't check the infant. I already know what's wrong with the infant. He needs to go to bed. No, we don't need don't need to give him a bath. He needs to go to bed, he buys. Oh my god, we've never given Aiden a bath. Like, not once. That's probably not ideal. I think he just got another milestone. I'm not sure what it is. What did we get? What was the milestone? What did we get? Uh, oh, the sit up! Wait, he learned to sit up while he was going to bed. Um, okay. <laughs> Aiden learned to sit up. Now he ha can experience more things life has to offer. Practice standing to work those leg muscles. Use the high chair for the first time to explore baby foods or scoot around to explore. Ooh, how exciting. Okay. Try to go nine nine. All right, let's see how he does. Let's just sit in the chair while he tries to go nine nines. Oh, so this is the double you sit you were talking about. Okay, yeah, he's real proud of himself, isn't he? Okay, kiss good night. What? Do you, what do you mean? Okay, get up from the chair and kiss the baby good night. You freaking. These Sims are so stupid. Paul, what are you doing? Go to bed. Um, go to bed. Smartest Sims ever! Wow! AI! Our Sims in The Sims 4 are the smartest Sims of any of The Sims games! Disagree! Oh, what happened? Oh no, he bit me! <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Ouch. From breastfeeding. Biting is a natural part of development, but who knew those tiny teeth could be this sharp? Accurate, accurate. Also, if he's got teeth, does that mean he's been teething? I feel like that should have been a milestone. Like, first tooth? Yeah, shouldn't that have been a milestone? First tooth? And, like, teething as, like, a cranky moodlet? And, like, the baby's, like, really angry because they're teething? I don't know. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Teething is a big deal when you're, like, when you're a parent. Okay, Paul, do you have the day off? It's Saturday. Yay! Paul has the day off today! He can actually, like, interact with Aiden and we can finally get him to um, upgrade the the crib as well. That's very exciting. Beth, once you're full of energy, you're going to go ahead and use that. Oh, yeah! We tried for a baby. I forgot. Should we have her take a pregnancy test? Let's see. Take a pregnancy test and then sing in the shower. They can be gassy. Babies can, for sure, yeah. Oh, that could have been another um, really good upgrade for the newborn uh, stage as well, would be, like, uh, gassy. <laughs> when newborns get gassy, they get so cranky. you got to, like, bicycle their little legs and, like, move them up and down to let the gas out. Yeah. Oh, little Aiden sleeping away in his cot. So that's good. All right, Mama, get out of bed before the baby wakes up. Failed to conceive. Oh, we did not get pregnant. Maybe next time. Okay. Wait, that didn't... Okay. Go pee pee. No, go pee pees. Uh-oh, Aiden's awake. Well, Paul, how about you? Because it's Saturday, so Beth's streaming this morning. So you're on Bubba Duty. All right, let's go ahead and change his nap nap. Beth's going to get ready and do a live stream this morning. So, uh... It's you and Aiden today, Paul. No. It certainly seems like he's, uh, he's babbling. You know, like, that he was meant to have, like, a babble milestone? It certainly seems like he is, but he hasn't unlocked it yet, so okay. You are going to, uh, feed the baby. Actually, oh my god, we can feed him in the high chair! <gasps> Let's try first food in the high chair! Oh, how exciting! Wait up, baby care. Uh, have him try his first baby food. <gasps> How exciting! Let's try uh, oatmeal cereal. I mean, the first thing that Aiden, real Aiden, tried was roast vegetables and chicken. No, no, don't put him down there. I want you to put him in the high chair. Paul. Paul. <sighs> okay, well, good try. <gasps> Look at him sitting! Oh, that's very cute, but yeah, no, he shouldn't be sitting with his legs like that. Uh-uh, that does not look healthy. I feel like most babies sit with their, uh, their legs just spread out. No, 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 don't bottle feed. I, no, I want you to feed him food. He's got a good appetite. That is very true. No, 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 put him in the, put him in the high chair. All right, come on. 
Beth, go start your live stream. You're having the morning off. Go have some fun. Okay. Does he have a bib? <laughs> okay. Another important note from Beth, a professional parent, to the Sims team. When your baby is learning to eat, you need to give them a bib. <laughs> or take all their clothes off. What do you think? He's unsure about oatmeal cereal. Okay, and we unlock the first... Oh, here we go. Here comes the mess. Wait, what are you eating? There's nothing in front of you. <laughs> this is quite cute. Got it all over your face. Yep. These do the little aeroplane. That's kind of cute. You're not too sure about that one. Okay, we're going to have to give Aiden a bath, I think. Let's go give him a bath. I don't know, I think they probably only had one texture for the um, for the face mask and it was brown. This is cute. I like the bath seat. This is very, very cute. Oh, it's bath time. <laughs> Clean all that mess off of your face there, boyo. First bath milestone unlocked. Oh, that's cute. Okay, um, he's in a pretty good mood. So I feel like... We should maybe bring him over here and do some uh, some tummy time or, or practicing sitting or something along those lines. Can they go out in a stroller? Uh, not that I know of. They can go out in the back carrier, which honestly we haven't done at all, have we? Upgrade. Add baby mobile. Come on. Right, Aiden, what are you going to do? You can like scoot now, right? Play with toys. Oh, someone left a bottle on the floor. Can you drink it? No. Lie down, get fed, fuss, cry, try to go night-night, look at toys, use nappy. Let's do some tummy time. Let's get Beth to do Babble Milestone Unlocked. Yay! We're doing good. All right, let's clean this. And we finally have added a baby mobile. One eternity later. Paul, come and have some brunch. Have a BLT. There you go. Oh, he's having so much fun. I hate this sit, though. I, I agree with you, Lally. This is awful. I want him to just sit with his legs straight out. Oh, he's trying to get up on his knees. Oh, look at him go. He's working on his crawling. Creep milestone unlock. Using his little arms, Aiden successfully held his weight on all fours. A tricky step before he can learn to crawl. Now is a great time to practice crawling to take it a step further. Nice. How do we do that? Maybe if he's like, oh, he can scoot over here. Okay, scoot over there, little buddy. Oh, he needs to go down for a nap. Okay, we need it. No, we need to go nap time. All right, nap time. Play lullaby. Uh, have a, mm. Twinkle, twinkle, little star is one of Aiden's favorite songs, so I think we'll do that one. Uh, we need to actually put Aiden in the bed before we turn the lullaby on there, Beth. Genius at work over here. Night, night, Baba. Have a good sleep, sleep. He's having a really good nap. We put him down at like twelve. He is still asleep at three p.m. Wow. That's impressive. Okay, no, I think I am going to have to go ahead and end stream. So we will save this. Okay, guys, so that was the end of the live stream. And now I've just got some extra footage to show you all of uh, Aiden as an infant getting his few last milestones uh, because I recorded all this accidentally with my sound off uh, due to a Windows update. And I feel really stupid about that because uh, I should know by now that Windows updates mean my sound settings get reset, but I forgot. So here are some clips of some more gameplay. So where we left off, Aiden was only a day or two away from his birthday and he couldn't quite crawl yet. He could only scoot as you see here. Now this scooting animation is not my favorite thing. Uh, I really, I really don't like it. It looks very unhealthy and uncomfortable. I get that the Sims team are like, oh, this is funny and cute, but like most babies don't do that. So uh, here he is getting his uh, milestone for putting his toe in his mouth and pooping his nappy. And in general, I think that the infants are quite good, but um, you'll see here in a minute, like Aiden still can't crawl yet. And as I said, he's only a day or two out from his birthday. And I think that the, uh, I guess like the aging needs to be modified a little bit like or, or the milestones need to be modified a little bit um so i've been thinking about this over the last week or so and really some of the early milestones that they give the infants like uh learning to smile learning to coo uh reaching for toys lifting their heads certainly these are all milestones that really are achieved in the newborn phase of a baby's life so in that first kind of three months of, of being alive is when most babies are going to achieve those milestones so i do feel like uh they 
they really should have had those milestones take place in the baby's newborn stage. Um, obviously, uh, I've said it a few times in this stream and whatever, but I feel like the newborn stage really should have just been bundled into the complete baby overhaul and uh, they, they should have been released from their cots and yeah, I feel like that was a real missed opportunity because it just does really take a while to, to work up to crawling, which is not unrealistic. Crawling does take a long time for babies to master. My son mastered it at about eight months old. Some babies do it earlier. A lot of babies are much later. And then it's like once they're crawling, it, it feels like a whole new gameplay experience and there's so much more that you can do with them. Uh, here I put the uh, jungle gym in Beth's inventory because I found that once Aiden could move, it was no longer convenient to have the Sims constantly constantly trying to put the infants down in that jungle gym because the infants can't get in and out of that without a sim to get them in and out of it if that makes sense so anyway here we are uh, working on crawling with Aiden in the kitchen and uh, you'll see here in a minute he he does a certain little animation and sort of figures it out now with the learning to crawl as well, um, I was a little disappointed that uh, they use the same kind of tummy time animation as you use the whole time when a baby's doing tummy time. When a baby is learning to crawl, it, it's kind of in stages. Like they usually tend to start planking first. So they'll push themselves up on their knees, uh, sorry, on their toes and their hands. They'll also get themselves on their hands and knees and they'll sort of rock back and forth quite a lot. I'll insert a video here of real Aiden learning to crawl. And um, yeah, I, I really wish that they had changed that animation slightly for when your Sim is, is practicing crawling with the baby to uh, have them do some of those kinds of movements rather than just crying on their tummy. Speaking of tummy time in general, tummy time's another thing that really isn't actually that big in an, in the infant stage of a baby's life. Tummy time is huge in the newborn stage, but by the time your baby's sort of like four or five months old and is starting to roll over both ways, you really don't tend to do much more tummy time. So again, I wish that was more a thing for the for the newborns rather than the infants. Uh, but you can see here his milestones. At this point, I was wondering how many more milestones there were left to unlock, to be honest. But yeah, he'd, uh, he seemed to have achieved quite a lot of them. And uh, right now we're working on standing up, which is a very cute one. And then um, Beth put Aiden down and he crawled his way over to this rocking chair here and, and pulled himself up on the rocking chair and figured out how to stand up and pull himself up on furniture. Um, that was really cute and I really enjoyed this. Um, babies do tend to start pulling themselves off of up onto furniture pretty much within the same week as they learn to crawl. They're like, oh, I can move now. Now for my next, next trick, let me show you how I stand up. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. He, he unlocked the pull to stand milestone. So yeah, I really, really liked the gameplay with the, the infants crawling. Um, and pulling themselves up. Oh, here I finally figured out how to put a baby down for a nap in the rocking chair. You have to just select the tape, uh, give Aiden a nap interaction. And then, yeah, the Sim just sits there and rocks the baby and can, uh, will we'll pull out their phone and, and check social media and all that kind of thing, which is very, very cute. The other thing about the milestones is, is the whole like first foods system that they have. And it's a really, really cute system. It's absolutely adorable, but they can't do it until the babies learn to sit up. So again, I kind of wish that some of the earlier milestones were more in the newborn phase so that you can get your baby sitting up a bit earlier on. Oh, here I tested out the sleep next to pet animation. I thought that was very cute. Just goes to sleep on the floor next to the dog. That was adorable. But yeah, and then um, then what happened is he unlocked this pincer grasp milestone, which then gave me the opportunity to actually feed him finger foods in the high chair and kind of do like a more baby led weaning approach where you just give the baby real food rather than doing purees. And that actually is what we did with Aiden. We didn't do really purees much at all. We just went straight to trying out real foods, um, which they can actually do before they have the pincer grasp. They can kind of do it because um, it depends on how you prepare the food. They can kind of try foods with with their like grab grasp. Um, so I kind of wish again that, um, yeah, you could you could start introducing foods a little bit earlier and that there was a couple different ways to do it. But in general, I did enjoy the infant's gameplay and um, I thought it was very, very cute. Uh, we've just got a couple more clips here and then Aiden is actually going to age up. Here he is. He aged up into a toddler without me really noticing. He was just crawling down the hallway and next minute he was a toddler. So um, yeah, I have enjoyed this gameplay and I would like to continue uh, playing more growing 
growing together here on the channel. So uh, thank you all so much for the love on the first video. If you could also please uh, show some love on this video too, that would be fantastic. Uh, so I know that I should continue playing it. I want to have Beth and Paul have another baby and explore some of the other gameplay and growing together like baby showers, having grandparents come to stay and visit. And uh, I want to also, you know, follow their lives as they grow up and see what other milestones and gameplay there are for kids and teenagers and all that kind of thing. So if that's uh, something you're interested, please, yeah, smash that like button for me. And you can also subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know uh, what's coming out on the channel and when. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point in the video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.